Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Tuesday night live stream of Mountain Blade Bannerlord, where, of course, today we're continuing on with our campaign where I. Ah, oh boy, I have two annoyances from off camera. Only one of them's actually a real annoyance. The other one's really on me, but I'm going to consider it an annoyance, anyways. And the primary annoyance is well, you may remember last episode, I was very pleased about our. Uh, our clan member parties that we have set up so that we can have cheaper armies with less need for influence. It's great. Almost a thousand troops for free. It's magnificent. And I uh, had to disband them off camera because I needed to more quickly move around between my cities to just check in on all of them. It's not like the Azerai were doing anything or trying to attack us, so I took the opportunity to go and uh, do some general maintenance of my cities. And then I went to go create a new army. All four of my parties had joined an AI army. And I could do nothing about it. I could not click them and tell them, hey, get the hell out of this army, you're my clan members. I couldn't keep them from joining an army. There's no in-game th way to do that. Nothing. <laughs> and I, I just don't understand how that's even a thing that they could do. Like, the only reason legitimately in this game to have clan members with their own parties is to increase your own army size for cheap without having to spend a lot of influence. They should not be doing anything else. But no, they will go and join other armies. Now, I talked to one friend who was like, well, you can set them to defensive and they'll go around your territories defending your, te your lands. Yeah, but that still doesn't keep them from joining an AI army. <laughs> so an AI army could be rolling through and be like, yo, join me. And they'll be like, okay, sure. And then you no longer have access to them. Now, I did discover one thing you can do, which I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't notice this before. I can... I can force another army to disband, but looking into that, it makes everyone in the army hate you. <laughs> Not just the person leading the army, but all the members of the army too. Even if they were doing nothing, which is what I think annoyed me the most about that army because literally it was patrolling the northern part of uh, Valandian territory over here. It was a complete waste of an army. <laughs> absolute complete waste and I couldn't grab my people back so it just it pissed me off off camera I did discover that there is a mod that can stop that because of course there is uh, but I haven't downloaded of course because we're trying not to do mods on this series to see how this game does without and uh, yeah that should frankly just be a basic function of the game in my opinion why would you want your AI party members to do anything but serve you they're your clan <laughs> but, oh well, that party eventually dissolved, because again, they were doing nothing, and I got my people back and haven't let them leave my army since, which is also annoying, because we can't move fast. And, um, yeah, so then the other annoyance that I had, which again, this one's on me, I can't blame the game, I did decide to actually head down to the Azurai territory. Just because, you know, I figured I'd go down there, do my usual tactic of chasing down smaller armies than me and just bully the nation to weaken them and make money. That has always worked for us in every other army we fought. Yeah, except for these guys. I couldn't catch any of them. <laughs> Even without my guys, because I actually went down there before I had gotten my people back, so it was just my army. Me at my fastest. I still couldn't catch any of them. They all had like one point more speed than me, and I could not catch a single thing, which is kind of a lie. I did catch one singular army who had just finished fighting bandits, and I captured two people because it was literally just forming. It was two small armies <laughs> that were just forming, and they fought bandits. They were, uh, you know, slowed down and I attacked. That's the only people I was able to catch. That's it. This war's been going for 114 days and there's only been 178 casualties total. <laughs> so yeah, I abandoned the Azerai War and I decided to use some of my influence to start a new war. Again, that's something we can do in the diplomacy. We can click over here and propose. And I proposed and was able to successfully start a war with the Kuzites. 
And for some reason, the Northern Empire just decided to join. Well, attack me as well, because that's just dumb on their part. But already in the Kuzite War, I have taken one castle. I did reform this army. We've got a pretty decent little army here. And this is the whole reason I wanted the Kuzite War. I wanted this castle. <laughs> I want other territories, of course, but since I own all this now, I wanted everything on this side of the river. So, uh, yeah, I took Dinar Castle. Durthurt actually came with an army and is doing something, and he's actually sieging out Lacana Castle right now, which is pretty sweet. And I've decided, while he's doing that against the Kuzites, I'm going to screw with the Northern Empire, and I'm going to take Argoron. So, yeah. So, yeah, good times. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, I kind of regret giving away this city now. At the time, it made sense, but now I want this to be my sea. <laughs> we already have Diathma and Atrion Castle, and that castle, that castle, all these, except for that castle. But yeah, oh well, I'll get it one day. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to siege Argoron. That's uh, going to be our first order of business here. They've only got 485 defenders against uh, our 2,329, which is pretty nice. And Binocle, can you recall the clansmen when they join another party, I wonder? They give them a new crew and recruit them? Uh, you could theoretically disband their army. That was the only other way we could see that working from people I talked to. You could disband their party, which dissolves it entirely. And then they'd have to reform a new army. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's not something we could do. And Jay Valandia, or specifically you... Oh, I, I'm assuming you mean... The Northern Empire deciding to take advantage of the attack. I mean, yeah, they want my things because they're theirs. But that's possible. <laughs> and I know Bionicle, right? Durthurt actually doing something for a change. Good times. Okay, who are you? And why aren't you a part of my army? <laughs> okay, besieged the town. Oh, there go my relations down. Oh, man, I actually... Oh, hi, 610 army. Ooh, growing army. We might want to kill that real quick. Hmm. Huh. We may want to leave the siege and take care of this. <laughs> because after the siege, some of our troops will be donated. Some of our troops will be dead and wounded it would be better to kill these guys than get into a siege again so that we can heal everyone up yeah we're gonna do that bye bye siege go on and oh we got <laughs> we're slowed from that oh great oh great and yeah sci-fi that's why i made the decision 270 recruits <laughs> I mean, there's also these other small armies here, but I can't really tell because they're all clumped together. But yeah, no, we should be able to take them. If I just get one... Oh, they're scattering. They're scattering. Crap, I think he's, he's faster than us. Dang it. <laughs> oh, this is why I hate being a part of a large army. Everyone's faster than me. Granted, all the Azurai were faster than me. I was actually pretty impressed by that. I got to admit off camera. They were all so quick. I think my army on its own tops out at 5.1. They were all going like six speed. How oh, fine. We'll just do the siege. Dang it. <laughs> it's going to be our only option here. We can't catch them. Fine. Just attack me. Dang. Ah, he's off. What? What? Who? Hey, I didn't even know Farzana was pregnant. Okay, good for her. She had a kid. Hold on a moment. How? How'd she have a kid? Nogan and Farzana have been in different armies for a while now. Huh. I guess maybe because we're all grouped together, that still counts. 
they're in different parties, but they're all in the same army, maybe? Interesting. I never thought about that before. Well, start doing the siege stuff. There we go. Do my usual. Actually, I'll wait. We'll build these after I get some trebuchets up. Sounds like a much better plan. And... Reserves. Oh, now I'm also forgetting something. Just seeing the uh, relationships with people go up. I had something funny happen off camera with relationship-wise, and I don't remember what it was now. Huh. Ah, uh, dang. It was just a very awkward relationship situation where someone that really, really hated me suddenly loved me, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I remember what it was now. Uh, one of the clans that was, you know, that we had killed off a long time ago. I think they were Sturgeon, I think, because they had a blue banner. Uh, they were captured by, like, because they had such a tiny army, they were captured by bandits, and I accidentally freed them. And so they loved me after that for freeing them. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay, I mean, we're still at war with one another, but interesting. That's what it was. It's also getting caught by bandits, damn. <laughs> Alright. Okay, now with all that going... There we go. Ah, oh, what's this? Oh, hey, he already took Lakana Castle! Hey! Who gets it? Oh, not me. Well, I don't care now. Man, I'm not even on the board. Jeez. Oh, abstain. Martin, good for you. Okay. Oh, hit okay. All right, back to this. I would like to actually break down part of their wall. Who's Husker? Oh, I can't look at the I can't look at the encyclopedia once I've hit this. It all depends on who he is. What who what nation is he a part of? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up after, but I'll take the money for now. Husker. Oop. Of the Daju clan. Ah, they're Kuzite. Damn it, I shouldn't have let him go. <laughs> We have so many people of so many different nations in our, cas our castle dungeons now that I don't... I never know who to release, because I am perfectly willing to release people who are part of nations that no longer exist, because, hey, it's free money. But, uh... Yeah, and I gotta worry about if I'm accidentally releasing some from another country. Oh, who is this? Okay, okay, uh... Bovadier of the Lake Rats. No, we're at war. Wait, hold on. You were Sturgeons, though, so you are one of the old ones, and you don't really matter to me if you're... You still have the blue banner. Yeah, sure, I'll let him go. I don't mind. We're at war, but we're, they're not a nation we're at war with. They're basically just glorified bandits at this point. Oh! Ah, damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to go handle that. Ah, oh, man. Wait, which one's Urksala? Ah, oh, that's that one in front of whatever that city is. I think. Hard to tell. Damn it, I like that castle. Oh, I didn't get a chance off camera to give them more troops. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know if we're going to wait for breaking down the wall then. That's going to take too long. They already have no siege equipment. We can do this now and then I can go kill them. Lead Assault. Yeah, I wanted to take longer, because I, I would like to break down a wall on cam. I've done it once off cam. That just takes so freaking long. Uh, oh, well. What are you going to do? <laughs> I 
and Bionicle. Just thought of a new Ted Nugent cover band named Camel Toes in the Sand. <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> that's uh That's a weird one. Alright. Okay, even though I kind of doubt we're going to have any ladders. Let's go look. I always like to look. Just in case. So I can get some troops up earlier. That's always nice. I doubt we're going to have them, though. Nope, I see them nowhere, but I'm having them waste arrows on me. Magnificent. Alright, I mean, we've already got them handled with this. Fire trebuchets! Fire! Oh, yeah. Off cam, Genolf got more engineering skills again from operating one of these siege equipments. Which I just thought was funny. I kept seeing it down in the corner of him getting all these engineering points from getting good kills with the uh, catapults. It's like, damn, Genolf. I mean, you're already our medic. You don't need to be our engineer, too. It's not like I'm gonna let you join another party and have your own army. I need you with me. <laughs> I need his medical care. All right. Where do I want to go up the wall? Hmm. Sci-fi get off once a twin doctorate. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think all of these are basically ending up on, like, this one strip. Yeah, like, that siege tower is going to go there. And that siege tower, I think, is heading there, but at a very circuitous route. Bobbing and weaving around. Just weird. So, yeah, they're all basically on either... going to be around the gatehouse, either going through or over. Oh, well. All right, let's get rolling. I'll help this one. Ooh, oh, that guy died. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit him while he's. Gotta wait till he throws something. Man, I missed. Why do I try? Binacle, perhaps you could be an engineer reattaching severed limbs. <laughs> he could make his own limbs. He can be the first in this world to provide prosthetics to our wounded soldiers. All right, go, 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 go. All right, I'm going to wait until a few more have gone up this time. And I'm going to go this way. Oh, wow, to getting those crossbow athletic points down there. Nice, nice, nice. And we're on the wall now. At two points. Oh, he's dead already. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? You're dead. Anyone up top? New. No. Down I go. No, I can't. Hold on. Really? Hold on a moment. I can't. There, there's an invisible wall, and I can't jump over this. <laughs> How rude. Can I walk over here? Yes, I can. All right. Well, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go, I'm gonna jump off the tower. Hmm. This was a bad place to come. There's where they spawn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is foolish of me. I make foolish decisions sometimes. There we go. There we go. You're dead. Oh, we got some people running. Oh, I think they are actually running from battle. I think, yeah, they're trying to make it to the castle. You fools. Oh, no, they stopped the fight. Some of them did. Oh, they're weak archers. I mean, surrounded, though, it's still bad for me. And yeah, there's really no way for them to escape to the castle from here, is there? Why did they come back here? Oh, God. There's more of them back here. <laughs> oh, I've made mistakes again. I mean, not as bad of a mistake as last episode, Siege, but... 
Ooh. Oh, frame drops. Ooh. He's down. All right, we're good. I mean, look at all that green. We're just we're just slaughtering them at this point. Oh, they got some red back in. All right, where are we going? Oh, right here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Get behind them and slaughter. Oh god, I spawned in the middle of them. <laughs> oh, that was a weird spawn. All right, some of them are running across the bridge. Oh yeah, there's the runners going this way. Oh, someone's axe falling out of the sky. Fire! Got one! Any more coming? Oh, he disappeared. Okay, that was it. Alright. Only 19 dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, only 13. Oh, this is why I hate leading armies. I mean, it's great for doing large amounts of damage, but I make so little money. I was hoping to get back over 2 million off cam, and I couldn't. I just... <sighs> just the whole Azerite thing. I just couldn't catch anyone to kill. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a new one. Anyone? I don't, don't know. Does anyone do the moral shock one? Or morale shock, not moral. <laughs> it's an entirely different thing. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has that sort of banner. We usually go with uh, damage stuff. Not anything against morale. Yeah, I mean, it's a good banner. I think it might be the first 30% we have. Huh. Oh, well. And show mercy. And sell prisoners. And trade. I doubt any of these things are value or of any use to me. Holy crap, that banner is worth nearly 12 grand. Jesus. Damn, I mean, that is that is good. Yeah, I don't have anyone who does the morale shock, though. We've never really had a problem with a morale shock. Our morale is usually pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's worth it. Definitely one of that either. I don't know who had hardwood in that army, but okay. <laughs> Ooh, I may need to buy some food while I'm here too. Gotta keep up the uh gotta keep up Ganolf's need for food to heal people quicker. We have cheese. Now okay. Everything else we already have. Dang. I do need more butter though. I'll buy the beer, too. There we go. And Jay, I'd suggest smelting the weapons, but it is a bit late to do that. Smithing is a skill. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we when I, My first playthrough of the game, I played around with smithing. Never got very far into it, though, but... But, yeah. I didn't feel like doing smithing this time around. <laughs> okay, you guys all have fun with that. Oh, God, we dropped off a lot of troops. Oh, Jesus. Holy balls. Uh, well, it's going to be well defended. Okay, yeah, which... Yeah, it's that one. Damn it. <laughs> I think I've only got like two or three hundred people there. All right, let's go. Got to go handle it. Let's see where that army is. Hoping they're... Oh, that... It may be them, actually. Wow, someone just took a lot of prisoners. Nice. Oh, Dearth Hurt must have destroyed them. Hey! Better be me. Aw, oh, come on! Zero percent? I think I finally reached the tipping point where they don't like me having so many things anymore. <laughs> yeah, I reached the tipping point. I mean, come on, I'm the one who took the damn place. You know what? Damn it. 
stain. Yeah, sci-fi, that's what I was about to say. If I don't get it, I might rebel, but... <laughs> no, we decided we were going to be a part of a kingdom this time. We've done, back in Warband, the having our own kingdom. I'm pissed about that. I hope they take it from you. <laughs> and I bet Durthurt defeated that army that was heading up there. Not heading to my castle, though, apparently. Where the hell are you going? Oh, you're going over there? Oh, I guess he's got to drop off stuff. How about defending one of your lands? Oh, wait, hold on, still. There we go. He dropped off a lot of prisoners. Oh, hi, lake rat. Oh, you're a big lake rat army. How do you have so many... Oh, I guess you, you're lake rats, but you got a lot of Imperials in there, too. How the hell are you people putting together armies when you literally have no economy? Where are you getting your money? <laughs> okay, okay. Who's Alkai? Oh, is it the Fen Olvain? Okay, so yeah, they're another one of the independent clans now. Oh, I know, you're Azurai. Oh, yeah. You're one of those ones. You know what? Sure. All, our war is pointless. Sure. Also, good money. I'm okay with releasing an Azurai. <laughs> Nothing's really happened between us. <laughs> I'm okay. It's one of those things where we're going to be at war probably forever and nothing will ever change. Ooh, we're in the middle of it now. Okay. We arrived just in time. Who's Itzel? You're another dodge, you clan. No. <laughs> All right, time to kill these guys. Gotta hit their main camp. Assault the siege camp. <laughs> you will all die. Hey, it's you again. Yeah, the Jowls, I keep capturing those guys. That Jawl clan just keeps throwing their weight behind, like, the worst of <laughs> countries. <laughs> they threw themselves... They were originally a part of the Sturgeons. We defeated the Sturgeons. Then they joined the Batanians. Now they're a part of the, <laughs> the Kuzite, apparently. <laughs> they just keep moving from one clan that we're destroying to another. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, and God, it's going soft on us. I assume you meant about the... Oh, yeah, I gotta get rid of that. The, uh... Ransom. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing anything with the, the Azurai right now. I have a feeling that war is gonna go on forever until we actually end up getting close to them in our oh, conquests. I don't see anything really happening with that. Oh, there they are. You can actually see them. Oh, they're probably gonna try to run up there, I bet ya. Alright. Oh, some of my people are wounded. Damn it. I always hate this because it takes them out of their command positions and it doesn't remember them for later, so I always forget who I have and what. <laughs> oh, are any of my people Pelasaur? Oh, you guys are your own, though. Wait, Raiden? You should... No, you should be here. Why the hell were you taken off? And you, I always put you in here. Minogan? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not Nogan. Who do I put in the... Not Ginolf. Oh, it's back to the front. I don't remember who I put in charge of the, uh... Oh, Pelosaur. <laughs> eh? Why won't let me put him there? Oh, no, not him. Uh, Anbard. No? 
Well, balls, I don't remember who I put in there now. Not you. Huh, I was gonna ready. <laughs> Let's just go kill. Alright, what we're gonna do? Everyone follow. Only oh, surprise. Oh, it looks like maybe. Ooh, they don't seem to be moving at all. Huh. Orders! Yeah, cavalry, go kill them, please. Yeah, here we go. You know what? You guys go ahead and join them, too. Attack! Yeah, 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 yeah. Speed for speed. Also, do we really only have 24 normal archers? God damn. I always forget how slow the infantry is. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Their infantry is coming in too. Okay. And. You guys too. There we go. My cavalry did inevitably go through them anyways, but... <laughs> While they were hunting down enemy cavalry. Good job, everyone! Wow, look at how small their infantry is. <laughs> Aw, bless. I would say I feel bad, but yeah. <laughs> They're my enemy to take one of my castles. Oh, oh, no, I thought they got him for a moment there. Oh. Damaged him, didn't kill, though. Here we go. We got him! Alright, where's their reinforcements coming from? Over there. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, you guys, yeah, they're continuing to chase down them. Good. Oh, missed. I'm gonna go harass these guys. Oh. Here we go. Alright. Ow, getting shot in the back. That's just rude. Also, almost ran straight into a horse. Oh, you some of you fools were coming right on your own. All right, more of them are already spawning. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I killed a man, but I also ran into a tree. That's on brand. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hi! I was paying attention to the people in front of me, not paying attention to the man that literally ran into me. <laughs> oh, hello, you. Take out that cavalry. Okay, got him too. Now yeah, I missed that one. God, all these horses are really getting in the way. It's <laughs> all the problem with cavalry heavy armies when you fight them. Because as their people die, their horses just end up littering the field. And they either become an obstacle for you to run into, or your people to run into. Whereas all these horses seem to be running around. <laughs> I mean, look at all these horses just everywhere. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, got him. Becomes a real pain. Oh, over here. And... Oh. And Sci-Fi did a riderless horse get a kill there? I mean, it's possible. More than likely, though, it just knocked them down and they got back up after we passed by. I think I saw what you were talking about at, like, the corner of my eye. And that's what it was, though. They probably just got knocked down. Knocked on their butt. Oh, my God. Oh, that's why they were running over here. I thought they were running away. I didn't notice they had spawned over here now. Oh, God, so many horses. They're down to the low-tier ones, though, now at least. Those are all low-tier horses. Here we go. 
There's just so many horses, though. So many to kill. Camel! Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone spawned in front of me again. Why does that keep happening? <laughs> yeah, these guys die, like, real quick, though. Look at this. Die, oh, you fools! I've got through a few of them now. Noble sun down. No, I'm stuck behind a horse. I'm so sorry, horse, but you have to die. There we go. I had to get through it. Well, it's all mine. Oh, God, more of them. Okay. Who? No, oh, he hit another infantryman. <laughs> Nope. Not that one. There's just so many. Oh, there was a guy literally now. Oh, they're running to the end. Oh, well, a lot of them are going to escape. No. Dang it. Well, just everyone. Kill anyone. No spe specificity. Just murder. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> I don't even know why I tried. And we're gonna try it again, though. We're gonna try it again. No, I hit him! Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't die, though. Oh my god, there's still some who haven't run off. Oh, hi, everyone. Well, they'll be dead in a moment. Where'd this guy go? Oh, there he is. Oh, hi! Got him! Hmm. All right, looks, sounds like we won. Good times. In J, Imperials or Britannians, which would I be if I played this? Not Glandia, since Coda is doing that and sort of scared the cavalry force that they are. <laughs> we have murdered. We only lost 39 in that battle. We killed a lot more. <laughs> Magnificent. All right, good times. We've got some prisoners. Hey. Stop. I... And you're my prisoner, too. We are at your... And you. I... And you. Sweet. Ooh. Palmation. Not that I don't already have. How many of those? <laughs> 24. Now we have 20... Now we have 26. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's too much here. Oh, oh no! Never mind. I I clicked the wrong thing. I thought I thought it was the dialogue saying that it was carrying too much. No, it was the one because I forgot to click the damn arrow. Ah, oh, I just left a lot of loot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes I am really dumb. Okay, okay. Yeah, they lost a lot of people in those defenses. That's not great, but. Handing over some of my people right now is going to be counterproductive. So, let's go up here and pop in these prisoners. Try and avoid thinking about my stupidity. <laughs> and at least make money off of the other prisoners. Ooh, not bad money either. Oh man, that probably would have been a really lucrative army. I find a plus point. Local looters are going to have a field day. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> what is this? Which kid is that? <laughs> oh, why was I looking over there? It's here. Of, uh, no good in Farzana. Got it. All right, one of their kids. All right, well, uh, vigor is always good, but endurance is great too. That'll help with two good things you always need. Yeah, go with that. And then some vigor. We're a fighting clan. Then social and kind—I mean, we we started being off as a criminal family, but we got we got two. Uh, you know, oh god, what's the name I'm looking for here? <laughs> or word I'm looking for, rather? 
Oh, I am blanking on words right now. Hmm. Legitimate. There's the word I was looking for. We got two legitimate. We're basically kings of the north here. <laughs> so, yeah. Can't let that happen. Also, who's fighting over here? Oh, god damn, I'm coming. Help the caravan. Nine left. Send troops. <laughs> the caravan had one person left, too. Who died? Watch it be the caravan. The one person that they had left. Oh my god, it might be. Oh! Never mind. Aldrich. Okay. I don't need any of you. I'm out. Those are troops, not prisoners. And I need to do some upgrading of people. Oh, I have a thing. Uh, where do I want to put that? Uh... Charm, I guess. Ooh. And Alda. Hey, her one hand is up. 10% total experience gained as a bonus to infantry after battles. Not bad. I Means she's not a party leader, though. Governor, garrison limit increased. I mean, neither of these are really going to work for her because she's not a party leader and nor a governor. Granted, I make my, may, may make her a governor one day, depending on if I, you know, depending on things. Yeah, we'll do that one. We pay so much money, it would be nice to have lower wages. <laughs> oh, you had a thing too. Uh... You know what? Work on your charm. Even though you have done nothing with it. <laughs> oh, wait. No, never mind. Crossbow. Crap. How do I undo that? I did mine earlier. Can I undo? You know, just cancel. <laughs> Let's go back in and redo it. Okay. Well, I did charm. There we go. Then Alta. We went that route. And there you go. All right, where should we kill? Well, even though it's not going to be my ocean anymore here, we still should probably close the gap with Epinosa Castle here. What's that down? Oh, hey, the caravaner. I guess most of his people were just wounded. He had one left. Now he's regained his caravan. Good for him. Oh, hi, army that's outside of it. Well, they gotta die. Oh, what kid, which kid is this? Wait, what? They're besieging their own castle? Huh? I'm very confused. Okay, just which kid? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, endurance. And vigor. Every child gets that, and this one got more controlled and cunning. Yeah, I mean, we're still gonna go kill them, but why are they but... Weird. Come on. They're faster than us, aren't they? No! Oh, and they're about to lose a battle down there. Oh my god, that... They were stupid enough to join another battle. <laughs> and then they got caught up in it. Oh my god, the AI is so dumb sometimes. Oh, magnificent. Alright, well, it helps Sil- Who the hell's Sylvant? I don't know, but we're helping them in killing this giant army. An attack. Good time. Okay. Jay, the Kuzites are confuzzled. <laughs> Goddess, you're just legitimate criminals now. Hey, why did we not have the thing? I guess because it's not our army. Or not our battle, technically. We came to help. Though these are all under my control. Yeah, I'm realistically the one in command here. Follow me! Cavalry! Okay, yeah, you guys go kill them. Charge! So they're gonna be the biggest annoyance. That cavalry will hit our shields. Let's move. Yeah, 
Yeah, those are always some of the most annoying. Regular cavalry, not so much. Oh, we're a swamp! Oh, nifty. I wish it was actually the light of day out. That'd be nice. It's also going to be real bad for our cavalry. Heavy army. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Why, did we just destroy all their infantry when we didn't even mean to? Yeah, it sounds like. <laughs> okay. Well, got him. Well, just move into that mode now. They got 10 cavalry over there. I'm just not there. There we go. They got three left over there. Now they've spawned in more of these cavalry. Yeah, I really wish this was daytime for this. This is such a beautiful battlefield that we haven't seen. I really wanted to kill that camel, but he turned away from me. Oh, and now I'm in trees. My greatest foe. Huh, made it through somehow. Okay, okay. Everyone's getting a little bit too turned around. Let's get you guys over here. Is that the other army back there just standing there? <laughs> Alright, yeah, you guys continue to kill them. They're just annoying. And... There we go. Everyone go and kill. Oh, I don't even know why I tried to swing that. That was obviously too far. Got him on the back, can't back swing part. I also wish it was brighter just so I could see the battlefield a bit better. Oh my god. If it wasn't for the icons over people's heads, I would have a very hard time figuring out who the hell is who out here. Because everyone's just kind of the same drab gray with the lighting. <laughs> oh, they got the younger, crappier soldiers out now. Means they're running low. Oh. All right. Ooh. There we go. Yep. Nah, that was that was awful. <laughs> Everyone. Hey, yeah, just charge everything now. Someone over here? Our people are. Oh, nope, yep, they, yep, they've, they've respawned more. Of course. There's that one down. There's another. Oh, look, infantry. Oh, the jowls. Another one of them. <laughs> Oh my god, more horses. <laughs> the whole place is just littered with horses. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go over here now. Yeah, I really wish it was daytime just to see this beautiful swamp. Huh. Nifty. Well. Where are they gonna pop next? Looks like they're all over there at that point, which I bet you, if they got any reinforcements left, they're gonna pop over here. Hmm. Oh, nope, their reinforcements came in that direction. Interesting. Normally, once we've got them pinned on one end, it goes to the next. Yeah, that's quite a lot of infantry they just got over there. Might as well move in, get a few kills. Ooh, 44 damage running over that one, nice. And 
soon back down. They're all backing away, trying to run for their life now. <laughs> As all of our cavalry descends upon them. Oh, the poor fools. The poor fools. They had no chance. Not against us. Oh, there's the end of the world. Quick, get at least one more. There we go. Aww. All right, you won. 11 dead. <laughs> you know what? Off cam, because some of the battles have gone so easily, I actually even turned up the difficulty. Because, yeah, it, we, we've been killing so many people so much. And we're still doing it. <laughs> I only turned it up like one notch, but still. Sylvan, thanks for your help, stream. Oh, wait, we never met before? Wait, what family are you a part of? Oh, De Armanac. Okay, okay. We're good with you guys, I think. Yeah, Calatild. Yeah, Calatild and I are friends. And <laughs> look at the pathetic clan strength, though. Bah. <laughs> oh, my name is Kodobos. I know your clan head. Okay, let's remember to actually take things properly this time. Eh, what the hell, we'll take them. There we go. <laughs> Don't leave the loot. <laughs> uh, look how many there are here that need to die. But, anyway, we got some more people to upgrade here. We got Varric. Hmm. Both are good. This would be better for pitch battles. This would be better for sieges. Hmm. I'll get this one. Oh, you also have a thing. You also have a thing. We'll bump up your one-handed. Oh, and your medicine went up too. Reset it. I'm gonna bump up your medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Since you do command your own party and you are just you, you handle every role. Uh, both are personal. Yeah, 30% health recovery after each battle is, I think, better. Get you back on your feet. All right, how about in here? Actually, forgot to do this before the battle, which would have been much better. But well, there weren't many that needed upgrading. Okay. All right. So where are we? Probably gonna need to head down to Amprella. I kind of want to go kill these, but we're all slow right now. I don't think I'll be able to catch them. Oh, look at all the other little armies. Did Dirth did Dirth hurt get rid of his army? He did. He did. Yeah, the AI never puts points back in. They always wait till cohesion goes down. They just break up the party. Hmm. <laughs> Anyone else that's like super nearby? Literally <laughs> nearby. <laughs> Let's get some more. There's people who are within a couple hours of us, yeah. We could definitely use some more uh, some more meat for the grinder. I think I might change my plan. I mean, nah, we'll still go siege this, but off cam, my goal with this army, now that we'll soon have even more. Oh, look at them all turning back around to join me. <laughs> oh, I'm debating on what to do. What is this? Oh, the Golden Bear Company and the Valanians have made peace. Good for them. Uh, how many will this make us? Oh, look, they're gathering another army. Over 2,000. Hmm. Do I harass the Northern Empire with this and take more of their land? They were stupid enough to stand against us. Or, I mean, they're already weak. They're already weak, but that means that they're getting bullied by the other empires. 
and just kind of adding fodder to the flame for them, which is why I kind of think maybe I should go after them. Because the Kuzite are still a little bit bigger, so they're less prone to getting just wiped by the enemy so we can come back and wipe them later. Oh, and Sci-Fi, did she? I didn't notice uh, Salen making it through. I actually did give her some troops. Uh, after I actually saved her in a battle off cam. I forgot about that. She was getting attacked by a large army of sea raiders that I then destroyed their home. Uh, I think it was like 60 sea raiders. <laughs> she was not doing well. Uh, and then I gave her some troops. So, hmm. Might be doing better for her now. Yeah, I'm debating on which I want to go with. Do we want to just wreck shop? Because there's only... They only have two cities and two castles left. We could potentially... If off cam I take, like, Saniopa and Gauss... Next stream, we could potentially wipe out the Northern Empire by taking Mezzi and Melion. Are they fighting anyone else right now? No. It's just us. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hmm. I'm kind I kind of think that's a good plan. Let's t Let's get rid of him. <laughs> we'll take uh, yeah, off cam I'll take Saniopa and Gauss Castle with this army. And then on cam next time we'll take these two. I mean, maybe. Who knows? Maybe they have like a thousand people guarding each castle. But <laughs> yeah, we could destroy another empire. Ooh, I like that. Are you guys fighting each other? It looks like you guys are fighting each other. Yeah, they're fighting each other. Good. <laughs> the Western Empire is definitely our biggest threat right now. They are... I mean, they're still way lower than us, but they are the second largest empire after us. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think that's a good plan. I think that's a good plan. So let's head down to Emperella for now. Get rid of the stuff. And then next episode, we shall uh, hopefully destroy the north. Unless they unfortunately you know, create a peace before I can get to it. Did I have any prisoners? Not any good ones. Wow. They captured a lot, Dearth Herd. Nice. Okay. So sell those. And trade all of this. Yep. Nope. Those all suck. But hey, they're fodder for sale. Let's see if they have any date fruits here. We could always use that extra food. Oh, they don't. Oh boy, they're they've got slim pickings. Very slim pickings. Oh wow. Is this is this city okay? <laughs> Are they like near starvation? Oh, I mean I can't tell because I can't look at their Oh wait, we can look up here. Security's decent. Their food is going down. Okay, yeah, they're not doing great with... They still got it, but they're not doing great. Hmm. Well, I think that's a good place to end the episode then. Like I said, off cam, I will head down here. So yeah, they've only got two castles and two cities. Let's get rid of the north. There can only be one north, and that is me. <laughs> and yeah, then we'll focus on the, uh, the Kuzites. I may have to go and defend my territory again off camera, most likely. And I probably should go drop off some more troops here if possible. But we'll see how it goes. Well, yeah, hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today. And you do come back for our hopeful conquest next time. But until then, thank you for watching, everyone. And as always, well, have a good one.